Hey everybody, welcome to Forest School. I'm at the Woodland Creatures Base Camp. Okay, we've got um, little hen pecking in the uh, log pile, looking for worms and grubs to eat. Um, in this house here, um, hedgehog is hibernating. Okay, so I'm not going to disturb her because it's not warm enough for her to wake up yet. Maybe in about March she'll be ready when the spring comes. Over here, we've got the hungry caterpillar camping out in her tent. Um, and um, over here, we've got squirrel. Now, squirrel is quite new to base camp, okay? And um, she hasn't got a shelter, okay? So we're gonna make her one. I'm gonna show you how to make one. And then I'm hoping that you'll make one at home and send me some photos to to um, show me how you've got on. So I'm going to put a little squirrel uh, sitting here by the fire pit, by the fire circle, on a log. Uh, they've got a tripod over the top so they can put a shelter around or hang a cooking pan. And uh, they've got their little pile of wood ready for their campfire tonight. Okay, and we're going to build just here a shelter for squirrel okay so what you need to do is go and collect some sticks go and collect a bundle of sticks like this okay and they uh, just need to be about 20 centimeters long depending on how uh, how tall you want the shelter and um, they don't have to be exactly the same size but they need to be a similar length okay so get yourselves outside take your take your adult with you and go and find some sticks Okay, and then when you've got those sticks, what you need is a piece of string and you need a piece of material. Okay, it can be a piece of fabric, could be a tea towel, could be um, an old t-shirt or something like that. Okay, make sure it's something you're allowed to use though. Okay, so choosing three of your sticks that are more or less the same size um, and they need to be pretty straight. Don't need to be perfectly straight, but fairly straight. Like that one's a little bit curved, okay? But that doesn't matter, that will do the job. Okay, so you want your sticks together like this, three ends. And then taking your piece of string, taking your piece of string, you need to tie this to one of your sticks. Okay, now it really helps to have somebody else with you doing this because it's good to have somebody holding the sticks while you tie the knot or you hold the stick while they tie the knot. Um, I'm just going to hold it in my knees there. I hope you can see it all right. And then you're going to just tie that around the top of the stick. Okay, so you've got a long end and a short end. The short piece goes over the top of the long bit, okay, underneath and see how there's this loop here this circle you tuck it through and you pull it nice and tight okay so that's the first thing you need to do and you need it a little bit of a distance down from the top then get your next your other two sticks one two three okay and with the long end of the string okay so keep the little piece the short piece down out the way and you want to wrap these three together not too tight you need to be able to lie next to each other like that one two three four times if your string is long enough if it's not three will do so you still need quite a long piece here and okay, so what you're going to do now is holding those up here you're going to take your string and you're going to put it between two of the sticks Pull it down like that. Pull it nice and tight. You want this, this bit nice and tight. Okay. And then take it over and take it under. Okay. So still in this same bit between these two sticks. You're wrapping it around and under. Okay. And when you've done that twice, go between them, go to the next two sticks and take it between those two. it through the middle 
between them and pull it up nice and tight and again through those two down, pull it up nice and tight okay and then that should hold this together nice and firmly and you want it needs to look like that okay should look a bit like that on one side that's the other side okay then with your two pieces of string now take the small one and just like we did at the beginning take it over the top of the long one under the long one through the circle take the two ends and pull now if you're using a uh, string or wool if you haven't got string you can use wool and then do it a, a, a second time nice and tight okay then you've got your three sticks and you'll be able to open them up so you've got like a tree a tripod so you're going to put that where squirrel is going to have her her shelter okay i hope you can all see that now okay down here okay so what we're going to do now is get your other sticks and you're going to place them around leaning them on the structure that you have made and remember that shape like this one over the fire pit is called a tripod it has three legs because tri means three they have tricycles so the bike with, it has three wheels the triangle has three corners and three edges and you want to put all these other sticks gently placing them around leaning on each other nice and solid we don't want it falling down on poor squirrel in the middle of the night so i reckon that you could make one of these at home children yeah and it could be an outdoor one okay it could be an indoor one it could be for one of your toys it could be for a mini beast house so clubs placing those all around remember she needs somewhere to come in and out so she will need a doorway <clears throat> okay and then when you're happy with that get your piece of fabric okay and I've got matches uh, caterpillar's tent over there and you're going to wrap the fabric around the house shelter and tuck it a little bit big this one but that's okay and then just tuck in the edges and there we have a home for squirrel and here comes squirrel she's going to move in look oh look at that perfect size for her perfect size for her there she is okay and there's everybody in base camp now can anybody see where owl is hmm? can you spot owl keeping an eye on everybody okay so there's base camp set up for our woodland friends so I would love you to have a go at doing that activity so send your photos dojo your photos put them on Google however you do them and send them to your teacher who will uh, who will show them to me all right have fun take care bye bye